Hi, I'm Andy Leonard, and today I'm going to show you the Max features of Hot2 Work for Citrix. Max stands for Mobile App Experience, and the features I'm going to show you today are Max Edit, Max Zoom, Max Control, and Max Cam. So to start, first of all, we'll go to the Applications tab and open up an application. So for this demo, I'm going to open up QuickBooks Pro 2016. So now QuickBooks is open. The first thing I'd like to show you is the Max Edit feature. So to show you this, if I click on Purchase Orders, for an example, here on the top left-hand corner, and now Purchase Order is open. And as you can see here, you know there's some editable fields. So at the bottom there, where it says Vendor Message, if I click on this, as you can see, once I click on it, you know the screen moves up, the keyboard appears, and we can still see that editable field. So the keyboard's not covering it. You don't have to scroll up or down. It automatically moves up. So you can type. So if I type something from here, like test, you know, now you can see you know, test is in the, in the vendor message. If I click the keyboard button on the right-hand corner here, you know, the keyboard disappears and the screen moves down again. And you can still see the editable field. The next thing I'd like to show you is a Mac Zoom functionality. So to show you this, I've gone back to the Applications tab. I'm going to open QuickBooks Pro 2016 again. As you can see, you know, at the moment, at the bottom right-hand corner here, there's an auto zoom button. If I press this, you know, now it's disabled, now it's enabled. So any pop-up message that appears in the application, when auto zoom is enabled, will automatically zoom that box. will make it bigger to make it easier for your user. So on this, if I do install later, we press open here, you now can see that these pop-ups are being automatically zoomed. Another example of the Max Zoom feature I can show you within the QuickBooks application is this. If I go to Edit at the top here and then go to Preferences, and now it opens up a preference window. So if I go to any of these on the left hand side, like multiple currencies or payments, and click Company Preferences, for an example, you now automatically you can see it's zoomed in then, so, you know, to make it easier for me to see the screen. If I go to Finance Charge, you know, it zooms out again. If I go to company preferences, you know it zooms in again. So that's the auto zoom um, functionality, or the max zoom we call it um, in Hot2 Work for Citrix. The next feature I'd like to show you is the max control. The max control is the toolbar you see along the bottom here. This is customizable for every application you're publishing from your Zen app environment. This is created using the Hot2 control panel and the max editor configuration tool, which is very easy to do. So using the Max Editor in the control panel on the Zen App server, you can now customize these buttons to short keys within the application. So in this QuickBooks demo, you know, along the bottom here, we can see Insert, General, Editing, Activities, Close Window, Exit, Maximize, Auto Zoom and Keyboard. So most of these you know, are programmable or customizable using the Max Editor. And these are menu items and buttons. You know, and you can have three tiers of menu items and buttons within this toolbar. So if I show you, if I click on activities at the bottom here, now it brings up another row of buttons that you can use, which again are just short key buttons to the application. So if I click on create invoice for an example, you now it creates an invoice, you know, using whatever the short key is to create an invoice within QuickBooks. If I click close window here at the bottom, you know, it now closes that invoice box. So that is the max control feature of Hop2 Work for Citrix. The last thing I want to show you for Hop2 Work for Citrix is the max cam feature. To show you this, I'm going to open up a different application. So I go to the Applications tab and I click on Red Beam Inventory Tracking. This application is used to scan barcodes of inventory, you know, in warehouses and that kind of thing. So to show you this, the first thing I'm going to do is select the barcode field from item here on the right hand side. Once I've done this, the keyboard will appear and now we see insert at the top here next to other keys. If I click on insert, we now have either image or barcode. So the first thing I'm going to do is scan a barcode of an item I have here in my office. So to do this, we click on barcode and then we put the camera on our iPad over the barcode of the item. Once we do this, you will then see a red line appear. Once a red line appears, it's now scanned that barcode. So now all I need to do is click Use on the top right hand corner here. 
and it now puts the barcode number from that barcode into the application. Now we have the barcode of the item in the application. We also now can take a photo of this item using the Max Cam, you know, for the image scanning. So to do this, you know, I click on image at the bottom here. It will now activate my camera on my iPad, and now I can take a photo of this item. Once I've taken the photo, I can now click on use photo on the bottom right hand corner here. The photo now is uploaded to my Zen app server. It's not stored locally on my iPad at all. Once it's uploaded to the server, I now can paste in the path where that file is located. So to do this, I click on notes field, I click on edit, and I click on paste. And now you can see you know, that JPEG file is stored within this application of a picture of the item that I took the barcode from. The last thing I want to show you today, if you open Safari up in your iPad and go to hot2.com and then scroll to the very bottom here and click on support. From here there's useful documentation for Hot2 for Citrix and Hot2 for RDS like server installation guide, getting starting guide and system requirements. Also if you have any issues with Hot2 work for Citrix then we have a knowledge base here where you can do a search or you can also email help at hot2.com and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you for your time today and hope the video was informative.